Hi welcome today I am going to explain about the film reality. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. Winner has a casual discussion with the agents when they arrive and start investigating the house. The conversation is captured on camera and the line in the movie is taken directly from the transcript. Winner says in the opening of the video that she is worried about the safety of her cat and dog while they are being searched. Winner consents to meet with Garrick and Taylor in a vacant bedroom at her home. Winner is questioned by Garrick and Taylor, who want to know the intricacies of her work. She explains that in addition to being a CrossFit trainer and yoga instructor, she works as a Farsi translator for a government contractor. She hopes to be sent to Afghanistan in order to make greater use of her Pashto fluency as a translator. Eventually, the agents confess that they are interviewing Winner about the recent internet publication leak of sensitive government documents. After an hour, Winner, who at first says she doesn't know, is forced to admit that she printed and leaked a document from the National Security Agency's database. The movie initially withholds information about the leak, just as the transcript does, but eventually it becomes clear that the documents included evidence of Russian meddling in the 2016 US elections, and that The Intercept was the publication that had issued a request for such evidence. Winner states that she wants the American public to have access to the same election-related material that the government has, but she denies wanting to be a whistleblower or discredit the intelligence community in the manner of Edward Snowden. She primarily expresses concern for her dogs as the interrogation comes to an end, realizing that she will be placed under arrest. As video of media stories about the leak is played, she is arrested and led out of her home. Winner's efforts draw both praise and criticism, some claim she was involved in collusion with the Middle East, while others completely deny the authenticity of the leaks. While some media sources blame The Intercept for enabling the leak to be linked to Winner, others speculate that Winner's sentence was intended to deter future informants. Winner was charged under the Espionage Act and had his bail denied, as stated in a textual epilogue. She was imprisoned for four years, and until November 2024, she will be under supervision. It mentions that the identical document that Winner disclosed was subsequently presented as proof of Russian meddling on the Senate floor. Comment your favorite sequence in this movie recap with time snaps. Thanks for watching this awesome recap. Subscribe for regular movie updates.